Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome back to Automate with Rakesh channel. In this video, we are going to focus on what is a local variable and what is a global variable in Python. Right? In Python, they are very important. What is a global and what is a local variable? Based on the definition, the global variable created outside of a function. Now, you must have knowledge about function. If not, this video is going to help you to understand everything in detail. Okay. And can be used inside the function and outside. Okay. What is this meaning? Okay. We need to understand first of all. So function, when it comes to function, you start defining a function. For example, I wanted to do addition. Okay. So I will say, I'll give it a name to the function called addition. And I'm going to define it using def keyword. This is the very important keyword define. And the name of the function I'm giving as addition, I'm using parenthesis and a colon. Getting it? So how do you create a function? You write define, you provide the function name and use a parenthesis and a colon. Very simple. And then let's say I want to add. Okay. So I want to add. So here I'm going to simply say print and I'm going to show a message. This function is about adding numbers you know something like this i'm just giving a simple uh, print command so let's say i will write few more things inside that before that the moment you hit enter just notice here you have put a semicolon the moment you are hitting enter what is happening by default in the line so let me enable the line okay by default in the line you can see there is an indent or a, there is a space given and this space is very very important if you skip this case, uh, space your function will not work so don't do anything with the space you have to have at least one space that is the rule so i have created the um, function name addition now i want to use it so i'll go to the next line and i'm going to hit on the backspace and i want to call this function okay i'm taking a very simple example just by taking its name and writing a parenthesis, I'll be able to call the function. So what is defined? The function is a block of code. Okay. So in this block of code, I'm simply printing. This function is about adding numbers. So let's do a run. Let's run it by F5. Hit on OK to save this. So what is the output that has come? This function is about adding numbers. Okay. Now what if I, I will create some values? Okay. Let's say I want to say x is equals to 100 and I'm going to say y is equals to 200. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating two variables and these variables when created inside a function that becomes a local variable. Okay. When you are creating variables inside a function. So this is the function block, right? So you don't have to end the function. The function will automatically end the moment you are hitting a backspace. The function completes over here. So these two variables becomes local variables. Okay. Now let's say I want to do some kind of a uh, sum. So I will say um, print. I'm going to say print and here in the parenthesis, I'm going to say x plus y. I'm doing x plus y. So now if I call this function with the name addition and try to run this, what would happen in the line number 11? It's going to print it. It is going to do the job and you can see the output has come, right? What is the output? Here 100 plus 200, it has added. This function is about adding numbers and the 300. Let's say you want to make a little bit of more changes. The addition value is something like that you want to write and after this double quote I'm going to give it a comma so now let's run it again hitting on f5 okay so what happened this function is about adding numbers the first thing has been printed right this has been printed and after adding it is saying the addition value is 300 getting it so the variables which are created inside a function will be known as local function so this is clear what is a local uh, local variable so the variables created inside a functions are called local variables so this is clear now what about a global variable so global variable is actually defined outside of a function 
created outside of a function let's say uh, i want to create another variable called z for example z is equal to 300 okay what i'm doing i'm creating another variable called z so this z variable will become a global variable because this is created outside of your function so this becomes a global variable simple now let's say i want to add z so what i will do plus z so what is the output will come 300 plus 100 400 plus 200 600 the output should come now i am calling the function let's call by just typing the name addition the name of the function is addition and parenthesis that's all the moment i hit on f5 and hit on ok so what is happening the addition value is coming 600 why it is coming 600 because the global variable it is using two local variables x plus y and also using the global variable so at the end what is the output 600 so with this basic understanding we have got what is a local variable what is a global variable now let's make little more modification okay what we will do let's delete all this within the block of the function i'm deleting everything and here let's say i'm going to say x is equals to 100 what i'm doing i'm saying x is equal to 100 here i am inside the inside this block inside the block ensure the space is maintained properly okay otherwise your function will not work it will throw error okay so now i am in the right indent in the right space here i am going to say x is equal to 200 so what i am using i am using the same variable name but here inside the function i am giving a different value to it what i am saying x is equal to 200 and here i am going to use print within parenthesis i am going to write x so now tell me the print this print will print 100 or it is going to print 200 tell me what is going to print is it going to print 100 or is it going to print 200 so let's do that experiment let me so i am calling the function over here in the line number 13 let me delete the space okay so in the line number 12 i am calling the function addition okay so what would happen what is the output is it going to print 100 or is it going to print 200 because you can see there is a global variable called x is equal to 100 and also in the local i am saying x is equal to 200 so what it becomes this x will become a local variable and is going to print the local variable within the fu function the local variable will take precedence and it is going to print 200 so let's see that let's do a f5 hit on ok so what is the output it has come it is printing 200 it's not printing 100 okay because i am calling the function whatever you have mentioned in the function inside the function will take precedence or will take priority so this is understood now let's say under addition under the line number 13 i am going to print print and i am going to say x now tell me what will be printed is it going to print 200 or is it going to print 100 is it going to print the value of the global variable or the local one so it will print because i am not using the function i am not calling the function in the line number 13 i am simply printing the global variable so the output should come as 100 so let's run it so what is the output the first output for the function for the line number 12 what is the output for the line number 12 the output has come as 200 okay and for the th line number 13 the output has come as 100 so this must give you a clear understanding what is a how the global variable and local variable are working now let's say you will say rakesh what if i do not want to create a local variable i do not want to create a local variable but using the global variable itself okay i'm deleting everything i'm simply in the function now the previous value in the global variable was 100 now you will say rakesh i don't want to create a local variable here as x what i want to do i want to simply i want to simply change the global variable how can i do that can be done just by typing global okay global x so what i am doing i i am trying to call the global variable x okay now here in the global variable i want to make a change so let's say i am going to say x is equal to 200 or let's say x is equal to 500 so what is happening the whatever the default value was there in the line number 6 which was 100 here because i am saying global so the spelling is incorrect global okay global x 
Now what is happening? It is going to call the global x and is going to assign a new value to it 500. So globally the value will become 500 now. So if I if I call it, so this is inside the function, uh, everything in the same line. So this is the complete block of code. I'll hit on enter, double enter, going back, and let me simply call the let me call the function called addition okay so what would what will be the output because here i am assigning x is equal to 500 to the global variable let's see and i am also going to simply print okay print and in the parenthesis i am going to use the x which is the global variable now the output will come 100 or the output is going to 500 because we have used the keyword global x that means it's going to completely change the value which was there globally 100 it is going to completely change the value to 500 and then when I do a print x let's see what's going to happen okay because I'm running the function before the print x what would happen so let's do f5 hit on ok so what is the output the the first addition in the line number 13 the output is 500 and also in the print x the output is 500 now the question comes what if I print before the before calling the function let's say I'll give it a space so that it's easy to understand. So print and here I'm printing X. So what is happening here in the line number 30? I'm not calling addition. So the X value still remains 100. So here it should print 100 and here it should print 500. And if I use a print below this, getting it now, it should print 500 again. So how it is happening? Let's see that hit on F5, hit on OK. So what happened? The first print, right? Uh, the first print where it I'm simply saying print text, it has printed 100. Then it went to the, in the line number 14, it went to the, it called the function and it has printed the first line. The function is about adding numbers and then it is printing the X, okay, in the line number 14 and the output of that is 500. Getting it? Now, if I'm printing print text, now because globally the x value has changed, now the print text value is coming 500. Getting it? So, with this example, you should be pretty clear. If not, please do watch it from the again and try to, uh, you know, do the same thing how I am doing. You will have a complete understanding. So, just to summarize, local variable are the ones which are created inside the function. Global variables are the one which are created outside of the function can be used inside the function and outside. So I'm using this x is equal to 100 inside the function and also I can print it outside. Okay, so this becomes the complete function. Okay, wherever you see this space until here, this is a block of a code. This is the entire block of the code and this function is using the global variable. If I have to change the global variable, all I have to use, use the word global and say x, x whatever value I'm providing inside that it is going to take precedence okay once the function is called once the function is running after that whenever you type print x it is only going to show 500 because the value has been changed after calling the function okay guys so this example should be experimented pretty well and understood pretty well so this is all about local and global variable in python so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you bye bye take care